Day-Lewis is known to do extensive research before any and all of his roles. He refused to leave his character's wheelchair in my left foot even after filming was finished. All of the slumping caused him to eventually break two ribs. Later, for The Last of the Mohicans Lewis spent six months in the wild teaching himself to build a canoe and trap and skin animals. In his latest role as the 16th president in Lincoln the British actor kept his higher-pitched American accent going the entire shoot, and began signing texts yours, A. Eh? His efforts have worked, because Lewis has won to us. DiCaprio didn't let a few shards of glass in his hand slow him down. During the filming of Django Unchained, producer Stacy Scher told Variety the actor accidentally slammed his hand on a table so hard he broke a glass, injuring his hand in the process. Instead of stopping, DiCaprio carried on and the performance made it into the final edit. Blood was dripping down his hand, said Sure. He never broke character. He kept going. He was in such a zone. It was very intense. He required stitches, the actress told Vogue she ate nothing but dried oatmeal paste for two weeks to lose 25 pounds for her role in Les Miserables. I had to be obsessive about it, the idea was to look near death said Hathaway. Looking back on the whole experience, and I don't judge it in any way, it was definitely a little nuts. It was definitely a break with reality, but I think that's who my character Fantine is anyway. The actress also cut off all her hair, something hair and makeup artist Lisa Westcott and director Tom Hooper tried talking her out of, to comprehend the pain of a mother willing to do anything to keep her child alive. Her dedication paid off, as Hathaway earned her second Oscar nomination for the role. Ledger nearly descended into madness for his Oscar-winning role as the Joker in The Dark Knight. The actor locked himself in his apartment for a month prior to filming and estimated sleeping two hours per night for a week during filming because he couldn't stop thinking about the role. Crew members also worried about the actor claiming he refused to speak to others out of character. If you try to communicate with him normally instead of the Joker, he would just ignore you, a source told Fox News. He would often come to the set to hang out even on his days off, freaking everyone out. Towards the end of filming, he was warned by people that he had gone too far. It's thought Ledger became so engulfed in the role, that it led to his premature death from an overdose of prescription drugs before the film was released. Williams listened to interviews of Marilyn on her iPod for months and even tied a belt around her knees to get her strut down when prepping for my week with Marilyn. There was a sort of a sense of a figure eight to her walk, that her shoulders were back, it looked like she had a sort of, like a balloon was attached to her breastbone, Williams told CBS. Her nipples were always pointed up. That was the work that I wanted to start as early as possible, because I don't want any of those thoughts to be anywhere in my mind when I'm in the middle of a scene.